Hi, in our next tutorial we're going to learn how to build a track-free environment such as this where we can see that our camera can be moved, our talent is cast in shadows and everything is perfectly integrated in the set. Hi, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to build from scratch a track-free environment. The first thing we need is a scene. So I'm going to select a scene from here say this is stock market here. As you can see we have quite a few samples here. All of them have been created using the standard 3D tools in the market 3D Max, Maya, Cinema 4D. Just pick up one of them and Ringus, an FBX, a Collada, a 3DS, most of the formats in the market that support it. There we are. That's the set and this is clearly an entire 3D set and we're free to move wherever we want. Now we need a table okay let's bring a table such as this let's put it maybe there we can move it bring it forward or do whatever we like with it there it is now we want a chair and say that we want this chair to be there okay and I want to rotate it a little bit maybe there let's see what it looks like maybe a little bit closer and uh, okay that would do now I want to change the material of that chair I could go right click material there we are I could make it a little bit darker but it's, this is not really what I want I want to go to my library and choose maybe this material how about this okay that looks cool but maybe it's not the kind of material looking for my chair so let's make it dark really dark and let's remove a little bit of that reflection that is a little bit too high a little bit of a little bit less bomb up in there and um, okay yeah, that's better I like that okay now we need an actor so I'm gonna to go to B set and say that I wanna have my actor number one visible that is by default a sticker that is a surface in the 3D space valid for track less environment but this is not what we want we want the talent to walk we want the talent to interact with the objects and cut shadows over other objects so we need now we need a movie we want a chroma key that movie and we also want this actor to be instead of a sticker we want it to be projection so now that it is is perfectly aligned with my camera it's projected from my camera point of view and I'm going to be sure that it's going to follow the body tracking technique that is I want the feet to be perfectly aligned with the floor this will allow me to have that now from now on she's going to walk perfectly well without a sliding on the floor now we need a shadow if we want a shadow we need to activate as well in the actor the shadow we can have feet shadow that is a body shadow that you can see right there or a feet shadow that you can see there that's like small shadows per feet and you can combine them both if you like to give like a, a dark impression on the floor but you could also have a cat shadow like this cat shadow here that we're not seeing because we need a light so let's go to the light and create a new light spotlight and we want to see this as spotlight and we want to apply an effect that is this cast shadow. The light is right behind there, but we want it closer. We want it to move there. You can see that it's cast in shadow. I can move that light and it's cast in the shadow perfectly well. So now I need to reduce the first room. I don't want it to be so big. And maybe I want to move it slightly to the right so we can see it nicer. Okay. I reset my camera, I remove all that and there we are. I don't want to see the limits. And that's it. We've got a shadow. And we want the texture to be darker. That's it. That's my shadow. I also want to cast this shadow over other objects. So as easy as going to my browser, select a new chair, maybe like this wood chair over here. There we are. And this chair this chair in the object list I wanted to move forward 
and I also wanted to cast the shadows so I'm going to go to my effect cast shadows and now I activate the light and there we are you can see that this object is receiving light directly from the talent and it's perfectly integrated I could move the object behind and you see that the shadow is always following me and the talent is really walking forward as you can see there we are we can move the chair any way we want and it casts shadows on the floor and everything is perfectly integrated as simple as that thank you